Hi, I'm Dave Miller. For over 50 years, I've been flying airplanes from single-engine Cessnas to three-engine jets. And boy, do I like to talk about it. Come along with me as we share some adventures in aviation. If you could fly anywhere in the world in your citation, where would it be? How about everywhere in the world? Let's go meet Larry King, who flies everywhere in his beautiful Cessna Citation M2. Let's go meet Larry King. No, not that Larry King, this Larry King. Hi, David. Larry, before we see the beautiful airplane, tell us about the hangar. Well, I was in the graphic arts industry for 38 years, and I'm very high impact, creative visually, and I wanted my hangar to uh, express that. Well, let's go take a look. Larry, can I take the C8 for a little spin? No. But Larry, this orange looks so good on me. No. Okay. Okay, I'm excited. Let's talk airplanes. Larry, incredible M2, and now your latest aerobatic addition. So which one's more fun to fly? Right side up or upside down? <laughs> good point. How did you come up with this paint scheme? Well, I started with Cessna Design Team, and I told them that I wanted to have a paint scheme that every time I landed at a new airport that the tower said, that's a good looking paint job. <laughs> and I narrowed them down to red and black and white so that we didn't get too crazy, and I just love the work they did. Well, they're both gorgeous. Let's go take a closer look at the M2. You took your M2 on an epic around the world flight, but why did you choose the M2 in the first place? Well, I flew a Mustang for eight years and I felt like it was just time to move up. I looked at all kinds of other airplanes and I just fell in love with the Garmin 3000. It makes my life so much easier and the speed and the range of the M2, it just was the perfect choice. So let's go take a look at the fun part, the cockpit. G3000 is definitely G whiz. Tell me, um, speed, altitude, range. Well, we see 400 knots. Uh, we typically always fly 40 or 41,000 feet. And our longest flight was 1,250 miles. Wow, that's a lot of utility for an M2. Yeah, it was never an issue going around the world. Uh, it, it, again, it's just a perfect airplane. Did Textron service centers come in handy on your trip? It was great to know that we had Textron service support all over the world. I couldn't imagine it any other way. It's really an incredible aircraft and it's really good to know that we have their support. Not just here, but all over the world. We've seen the M2. What was the most memorable part of the trip? Well, I think the most memorable would have been the Jordan to Dubai leg. We flew over Saudi Arabia, and when we landed in Dubai, uh, the wind and the dust was blowing and very low visibility, and uh, it was just a, an exciting time. Wow. Any advice for other world travelers? Oh, absolutely. I would say that uh, go with friends. We went with five other planes five other couples that we hadn't met prior to the trip. And we ended the trip 75 days later with lifelong friends. Nice, nice. So where are you off to next? Our next trip is a tour of South America. We're going all the way to the southern tip and back up and I'm really excited about it. Wow, fly safe and thanks for entertaining us today. Oh, thank you. Well, that was fun. I can't wait to tell you our next story and it might even be about you. See you next time and fly safe.